undoubtedly the oldest and cheapest form of transport. Sometimes very decorative, but not necessarily utilitarian. cannot always be relied upon. Often grossly overloaded. Often, it may not be very successful if the going is rough. It looks as if you need a retread, old man. Valuable find? Well, hardly, but the rightful owner seems to think that one good turn deserves another. This is certainly the easy way to travel. It is even more, certainly, the best and most inexpensive form of powered transport. The document the old boy found was a test card for a Triumph motorcycle, the last link in the production chain that starts with a frame assembly. The tubes and lugs for the frame are pegged together and assembled in a jig ready for brazing. A perfect joint is made by applying brazing metal and borax when the joint has reached the correct heat. Craftsmen now true the front and rear frames by hand to give perfect alignment for all bolt holes and axle bearings. Step by step, Gauging and truing proceeds until the final test is made and the frames are ready for enameling and subsequent assembly. Typical of the scrupulous care throughout production and assembly of this world-famous motorcycle is the washing before assembly of all parts to remove swath and grease, leaving only a protective film of oil. Valves are assembled in the cylinder head and ground in. The crank shafts are assembled to the flywheel and subsequently tested for truth to a tolerance of plus or minus a quarter of a thou. Balance weights are added to each crank pin. These represent a percentage of the weight of the reciprocating parts. Careful drilling of the flywheel in the right place eventually produces a crank assembly that rests in any position on a knife edge. The connecting rods are added and the big end nuts tightened. The register dots on bolts, big ends and nuts were added before machining to ensure accurate assembly. Big and little ends are bored simultaneously at fixed centers, ensuring perfect alignment. The perfectly finished Conrad is assembled 
and placed in a rack for assembly in the engine. The crankcase is placed on a jig and the flywheel assembly added. By selective assembly, the gear wheels are matched until a perfect train is achieved. This is the final check, for from the earliest stages, extreme care is taken in the production of Triumph gears. The camshafts are now assembled to the selected gears after production on the latest type of cam forming machine to ensure a perfect form. cut accurately in banks of four to within three thou of their finished size. size on this superb shaver which gives the perfect tooth profile on which so much depends. The crankcase is bolted up. The sump plate and filter added, and the engine placed in a cradle on the assembly line for completion. The crankshaft pinion and intermediate gear wheel are assembled, pistons are lubricated, piston rings compressed, and the cylinder block is added and bolted into position. The production of the cylinder is worthy of closer study. After the liner has been pressed in, it is placed on a borematic machine and the cylinders bored perfectly on fixed centers with a tolerance of one-tenth of a thou. perfect mirror finish is obtained by honing, but such a perfect finish would be useless if the piston was not produced with equal care.